Hey everyone, my name is Victor Dwyer and today I'm going to show you how to connect Walmart data to Google Data Studio and Google Sheets. Let's get right into it. Today we're going to use Power My Analytics to be the connector between all the reports that we're using today. Feel free to try them out, you can cancel with them anytime. So once you create your account, you're going to log in and you're going to navigate to sources. Once you navigate to sources, you're going to press add a new data source. And these are these are things that are always going to change when it comes to user interfaces, but it will be something similar every single time with a user interface that is going to navigate something like this. So we're going to press new data source here. We're going to navigate to Walmart. We're going to click on it. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're actually going to click on this. We're going to click this right here, and we're going to navigate to the Walmart developer portal right here. We're going to click on my account. You're going to click your particular marketplace. Okay. So once, once you log into your particular account, you're going to press add new key for solution provider. Once you click that, you're going to navigate down to where it says power my analytics. Once you find my power, my analytics, you're going to click next. Okay. Once you get a screen like this, you're going to go to order management view only, order management, view only, settings, view only, and all these view only. So once you do that, if you ever come into with a permission error or anything else like that, you can always just give full access here. So that way, if you ever run into permission errors or anything like that, but um, it's going to be easier for you long term to give full access to all these things. But for now, you can just do view only if you want to give the minimum re um, access required. So I'm going to press submit. Okay, so once this has been added, we're going to go ahead and copy this client ID right here. We're going to navigate back to Power My Analytics, paste the client ID, and then we're going to go back to the secret secret key. We're going to select this. We're going to copy it. And from there, we're going to paste that in, and we're going to call this Walmart test v3 that's just what we're going to call it today so once it has been connected you're going to see a screen like this so we're going to actually click google data studio right now because we're going to set up google data studio next i'm going to scroll down to where it says walmart i'm going to click on walmart it'll open up with a new screen and we're going to, i'm going to call this i'm going to click on the edit i'm going to click on the title right here i'm going to call this walmart test v3 right there for power my analytics hub I'm gonna click Victor hub I'm gonna press next I'm gonna select the specific user account I'm gonna press next so this is this is optional this is if you if you have a particular way of reporting based off the fulfillment pattern, some clients only report off of shipped items. Some only do it off of um, total items. I always leave this blank so that way I can out report on everything within the account, uh, whether it's canceled, whether it's anything else, because you might run into some issues in the future. But if you are only doing it off of certain statuses, you can select it based off depending on how you report your data. But I'm going to leave it blank today. And it's also really important that you keep this selected, this check marked, so that way in the future, that way you can also get the report template that we're going to use in the future. So keep, make sure to keep that check marked. And now we're going to press connect. Okay, so once we connect to the data source, you'll see a screen like this. And then from here, we're going to navigate. We're going to click on this Google Data Studio icon to navigate back to our, and now we're going to go to our reports. And we're going to navigate to the Walmart dashboard by Power My Analytics right here. And we're going to click on it. And Power My Analytics already built out a template that we can already use. So I'm actually going to press make a copy here. And then I'm going to put Walmart test. I'm going to put in the Walmart test data source that we had, and I'm going to put that into here. 
just so you know, some of the data won't always come through immediately. It might take some time. If your data hasn't came through yet, you can always navigate to back to sources and you can go to the Walmart, the data source in particular you want to go through, go to account details, and you can press backfill connection data and backfill as long as the API lets you essentially. And it will take, um, depending on what the data is, it takes some time for more for other particular points of data, but just know that if your data doesn't show up, it might it will take some time to populate once you backfill it. So just so that you guys are aware on that. So we're gonna go ahead and click, press edit. I'm gonna go ahead and rename this dashboard, Walmart test dashboard, boom. Okay, and now we're really gonna create our own one pager document, our own one pager success here. So from there, um, I'm gonna have set this, I'm gonna go to, Basically, I went to page settings and then current page settings, and I made this 4,000, the height, to kind of make this a one pager. And now I'm going to delete this thing right here. And now we're going to navigate to the other pages and take some good pieces that we want from it. So I'm going to go to the next page. So product sales are important to me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the title product sales here. I'm going to hold control. And I'm going to click on this one as well. And once I do that, I'm going to click both of them and I'm going to press control C. Then I'm going to go back to our page, our first overview page, scroll this down, move this down here. And now I have everything on this one page here. I'm going to navigate to the other pages. The orders report isn't very important to me. So I'm going to skip that one orders report or the inventory report is important to me. So I'm going to hold control, copy those two down, press control C. From there, go to the overview dashboard and then scroll down and then move this down. And all the other pages really aren't relevant to me for these things. So I'm going to leave it basically at that. Um, those are the things I need for basically most of my clients. So those are the two main things. And now I have everything on one dashboard. So I'll be able to see everything from there. Okay, here we have a completely new Google Sheet. So now we're gonna name it. I'm gonna call this Walmart. Walmart test sheet. Okay, so now that we have Walmart test sheet, I'm gonna go to extensions, Power My Analytics. So if you don't already have the Power My Analytics extension, go to add-ons, go to get add-ons, and you're going to install the Power My Analytics add on to the Google Sheet. Once you've already done that, then you go to extensions, Power My Analytics, and you're gonna press login. From there, you're gonna log in. It's gonna do a redirect. Perfect, now we're gonna exit out of that. We're gonna refresh this screen. We're gonna go back to extensions where Power My Analytics will show up. From there, we're gonna press show sidebar. Now we're going to press add a report. We're going to navigate down to Walmart. We're going to click my particular hub, the account that I'm referencing. And like I said, going back to the order status filter based off uh, how you basically position your order status, this is optional. I'm, I'm not going to leave this. I'm just going to leave this blank for now because I don't need that. I'm going to do this year to date. And where most people are gonna end up using this, I'm gonna press date and have the date functionality. So for the item name, I'm gonna type an item name. I'm gonna type an item product name for the item name here. And then for the actual sales, we're gonna use this charge em item price charge amount right here. Okay, we're gonna click this one. Okay, so this will give you the, the amount of sales there. We're gonna press set fields and we're not gonna put any filters here. I'm gonna order by date. I'm gonna show up to 10,000. I'm gonna remove the show report header and I'm gonna call this product sales. And then I'm gonna press create report. Okay, so now we have the particular day 
and what where the item was um, what item was sold and for what amount and how many sales were that for that particular product. Now we're going to take this a little bit step further. We're going to actually insert a pivot table here and I'm going to highlight everything here. I'm going to create and what I'm going to do is I'm going to exit out of the Power My Analytics. I'm going to re-click the pivot table. From there, I'm going to add date, the date functionality. Okay. And then under rows, I'm going to add the item product name. And under values, I'm going to add the charger's item price. Okay. So now we have it grouped up by particular product for what day and the amount of charger's item price. So I'm going to highlight this entire column. I'm going to go to format. I'm going to format format this as a date and I'll show you why in a second. So I'm going to format this as a date right here. Okay. And then I'm going to right click this. I'm going to right click this and I'm going to create pivot table date. So now I can see what particular month, what the product sales for a, were a particular month per product or for a particular quarter. I can do it based off the quarter as well. What particular quarter did well for each particular product and you can do a comparison there and if you wanted to see the overall sales you can see what quarter did potentially better for you whether it's quarter one or quarter two and then or you can see like what particular month did better um, and really see what drove sales on each particular month and you can even make some analysis here what day of the week does better for you so just analyzing this it looks like Sundays or the prime time for sales here. So you, this might be super actionable for you. Maybe you might spend more on a Sunday, Sunday and Monday it looks like. Um, so like this is this type of data would be super valuable for you and you can kind of really organize it and aggregate this data in a certain way to basically make it more successful for you. But that's basically how I would play around with this data and really see and really take it down to an, the whole other level. So hopefully that makes sense. Today I showed you how to connect Walmart data to Google Data Studio and Google Sheets. Hopefully you got tons of value for this. Thanks for watching.